Oh yeah, PlayStation, bitch. Hello everybody, it's the myth, the legend, Squidward 5. And today we'll be going over this PlayStation State of Play, because we can. This is expected to just show Japanese, mostly Japanese games from Japanese developers, which could be cool. I would love to see some Sega games. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Anyways, it's gonna start in one minute, so I'll see you once it starts. And now it just turns to black. Rest in peace, M. Okay, PlayStation 5 games. I bet this is from Square Enix. I mean, I know there's probably gonna be other developers around the world, but it looks to be just an average looking sword based game where look, with a game with guns, which the PlayStation definitely needs. So, so I'll give them credit where credit is due. Oh my god, it has dinosaurs! I'm busting a nut! This is, a, this is busted! This is bu- oh, it's from Capcom! Okay, what the fuck is this? Is this busting? That's just some action game with dinosaurs. Yes, we're gonna battle this bad boy, Tom Brady, because we fucking love Tom Brady. Predator, Ex Expo Primal, Expo Primal, that's what it's probably called. And it's probably gonna be some sort of gameplay, so there's that. And now it's coming next year. Don't give a shit, it looks, like, it looks boring. It looks like every game on the market besides that. It looks like every game, so who cares? This is the first time I've seen video, um, gameplay of this shit, and it looks like... It, it looks very disturbing, like, not in terms of the, the actual game design, like... It looks uncomfortable, like, uh, hand gestures, and then you have, like, spiritual balls, and then you just hit things? What the fuck? And by the way, this is Ghostwire Tokyo, if you're wondering. Is this Final Fantasy 7? Not it's a, is this Final Fantasy um 14 online? Oh, it's a Strangers in Paradise game. I'm I want this game. Oh, there's a demo for Strangers in Paradise. This looks nice. I might try it if I want to. Okay, time to get bored. I love how Square Enix can just be a company that just makes classic RPG. And then there's another side of Square Enix where they just be like Ubisoft that makes shit like this, the Tomb Raider franchise, and then, and then unsuccessful games like this, and then also the Marvel games. She will rise October 11, 2022. Oh look, it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They eat pizza. They love pizza. They suck dick for pizza. They love pizza. Oh my god. Hey, hey, cowabunga, motherfuckers. Let's get pizza. I love pizza, bitch. Is this Pokemon? This looks like Final Fantasy Pokemon. This reminds me of that one Majime mini game in Yakuza Kiwami 2. Yeah, I'm not uneducated. Giga Bash. Most stupid name ever, but okay, I don't care. Next, a fan favorite fighting game makes a beautiful and bizarre return. Is this King of Fighters XVI or uh, King of Fighters 15 or something like that? Oh. Oh, someone must be busting a nut right now because it's JoJo. But it's okay, I'm not angry. Damn, this actually looks interesting compared to every other game. I've only seen the first two seasons of this. It looks okay. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures All-Star Battle Royale. 50 playable characters available to be continued. Can you put roundabout by yes? That would be really fucking cool. I didn't finish what I said about JoJo. Um, I've seen the first two seasons of the show. Like, I've seen the first season, but uh, a portion of season two. I thought it was good, but unfortunately I just stopped for some reason. Like, I just stopped. I like the music they choose in the games. And I like the memes around it. It's it's harmless meme fun. It's just like a meme anime. Like you meme the fuck out of it, like a meme memeable anime with all the references and the and the music and stuff. It, it's cool. Okay, it looks like a PlayStation game. Returnal Dying. DLC. Same. But it looks to just be another uh, oh, space shooting. shooting game. And I'm just you know what? I feel like I'm just assuming at this point because literally um 
Whatever this is, it looks like Returnal. Or I'm just not educated for most games. It's Returnal DLC. Yeah, that looks like a something from a Square Enix game. Is this a Final Fantasy game? I, I should lower this, it's too loud. Is this Fire Emblem? It's a it's a Square Enix um Fire Emblem. That's cool. This doesn't look too bad. The Dial Field Chronicle. Apparently it's coming this year. I bet this is something near related because I think the art style reminds me of Near on a Mono or like the Near franchise. This game looks to be like um every other game that looks like this, uh like an RPG style game, like a action RPG. I'm not saying it's bad to have more of this, but from what I've seen from the trailer alone, it just looks to be generic. But you know what? They'll probably show more shit off at a later date or something. So I'm so I'm not too mad. So you continue showing this, and maybe I'll be convinced or something. I don't know. Valkyria Illusimum. Okay, it looks like it's over. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just that it's just average. You know, I think it's just going to be the screen so I can just turn off the volume. Um, it's okay. Most of the games I'm not going to give a shit about. Um, for now, that is. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll be considering to pick up that um, Square Enix Fire Emblem game. And probably the... And maybe that other one they showed, but I'm not too sure yet. But from the... Oh yeah, PlayStation, bitch. But back to what I was saying, um, the only game that I really did give a shit about was like Final Fantasy Origins um, Strangers in Paradise. There's a demo coming out, so maybe I'll play that. Maybe I'll download it once it's available and probably play it by like Friday or something for the weekend. Because I think that I might be, because I'm getting this game for Easter and I want to see if I'm going to enjoy it or not as a game. And it looks like the live stream ended, so I might as well just, um, okay. The live stream ended, so I might as well just um, shut everything off and, and just start editing and other shit. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're interested in, like, this type of stuff, then consider subscribing. I also post YouTube poops, and I also make action figure movies when I can find the chance. And this is what I've mostly been doing. Just this. And with the mix of college. If you look at some of the shit I have here, it's from college. Like, uh... Um, like this is like um remembrant uh and, and some um adobe pro not pro create what was it called again adobe premiere that's the thing yeah i think i should just end it now bye guys <laughs>